I really like a non-alcoholic beer because I like more beer, of course, but you can't drink it the whole day if you have to work, if you have to drive, everything else, and you can't drink beer every day. Unfortunately. That's the head brewmaster at Weinstefan, the world's oldest brewery, pointing out that you really shouldn't drink beer daily. Sadly, he's probably right, which is why this is a Heineken 0.0, .0 a non-alcoholic beer that the beverage maker even markets as a workout drink. Not only does it pair well with your Planet Fitness pizza, in a recent Washington Post report, they spoke to a sports medicine expert who said, non-alcoholic beer can be a reasonable recovery drink. But people aren't just turning to NA Bevs because they want to dump a keg of beer on their coach instead of a Gatorade jug. These days, you can even find high quality non-alcoholic brews at Oktoberfest in Germany, where it's on the menu at all but two of the festival's tents during the world famous 16 day celebration in Munich. And it even costs the same as an alcoholic beer. So you really shouldn't feel like you're missing out on anything. For people who don't like to drink alcohol and want to enjoy the Oktoberfest as well. I think it's a good option, but sometimes people feel like they have more fun with alcohol, which is not a good thing because you can also have fun without alcohol. That's a 24 year old who spoke to the Associated Press from an Oktoberfest beer tent. If you like to drink alcohol free beer, I think that's definitely an option for you. And if, if you want to come and drink alcohol free beer, nobody will judge you. Indeed, that's a pretty Gen Z attitude. Considering research has found Gen Z tends to drink less alcohol. And hey, even though they're lonely, they're not alone. Here in the States, according to the Wall Street Journal, non-alcoholic beer sales have been on the rise since the pandemic. Thanks from everything to to an increased consumer focus on health and wellness to, perhaps most importantly, high quality non-alcoholic brews that don't taste like shit. Brewers uh, know that if you reduce the alcohol or if you have no alcohol in the beer, you have a lack of aroma quality. And we produce or we breed special hop varieties that you can fill this lack of aroma in a beer that the non-alcoholic beers have a fully uh, taste as good as a alcohol beer. That guy's the managing director of the Society of Hop Research, who notes that researchers have been breeding special hop varieties just for non-alcoholic beer to help improve quality as demand grows. The non-alcoholic market was over years, just two or three percent of the whole beer production in Germany. And in the last two or three years, it was a big increase. So now we have nearly 10% of the whole German beer production is non-alcoholic beer. It's increasing more and more. And I think that goes very close together with the quality of the beers. And it's not just boozeless booze either. As we've told you before here in your daily news refresh, please subscribe. Low or no alcohol beverages and cocktails that provide mood boosting or relaxing effects are on the rise too. Back at Weinstefan, our brewmaster knows that with the growing popularity of NA Bevs, they're just gonna have to keep up with the times, which means filling up more steins with beer that won't get you out of line. I think that uh, it's getting more and more popular in this, these days that the people are, unfortunately, I have to say that as a brewer, Unfortunately, drink less beer, but we want to keep on brewing beer, want to have beer for the people and uh, want to produce the beer always for the people. And if there's an alternative to have the, the crisp and fresh taste from a typical Weinstefan beer, but just as a non-alcoholic version, so that's the point. We want to do that. What we want to do is give you new, funny, interesting, and weird news stories each and every day. So we do that here on your Daily News Refresh. My name is Greg Ott, and like this video and give us a hot subscribe to get more stuff like this in your feed. And hey, if this is your kind of video, check out this recent one about the parody Nobel Prize ceremony called the Ig Nobels that just gave out an award to researchers that found that some mammals can breathe through their anus. Huh, how about that?